Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chef V Prospecting. I'm going to make a quick guacamole. Uh, what I have here is five avocados, um, one serrano pepper, a lime, one Roma tomato, um, a bunch of cilantro, and I have a little bit of onion in the back there. Very, very, very simple recipe, very simple ingredients. Um, so, all right, we're going to have at it. Um, I prefer sor I prefer serrano peppers over <clears throat> over like a jalapeno or whatnot because for the simple fact that they have like a they have like a stronger more pungent flavor and they kick a little bit more heat. Um, this is for my daughter's friends, so I'm gonna kind of keep it keep it on the little bit more on the mild side. So I'm just gonna dice up these green chilies. Nice fine dice, throw it in the bowl. Continue. What I'm doing right here is I'm kind of taking out the pith. <clears throat> this is where a lot of the heat is. Uh, the pith and the seeds, again, I'm trying to make this a little bit more on the mild side for the kids. Love on this thing. Gonna start and do the tomato. I don't really want the liquid in there, so I'm just taking kind of the fillets off of it. Saving this part. You could, I'm gonna throw that in the beans or something. Again, a, a nice small dice on this. Into the bowl it goes. Finish this off. I have gloves on because uh, those serrano peppers, will, the oils will get into your skin and my fingers start burning and stuff. I'm a, I'm a wuss. I cook at home more than I cook at work, but still have a little bit of skill left in me. All right, so I got this lime right here. I'm just gonna roll it. Basically, that's just kicking all the membrane. It's breaking the membrane up to release the juice a little easier. Down into the bowl. To one. That's two. Next, I'm gonna fine dice a little bit of onion. This is just a just is just a yellow onion or a Spanish onion. It's a little bit on the sweet side. Let's take off that outer membrane. I'm using about this much. And if you prefer more, obviously you can do more. But this is just seems like the right balance for for me and for what I like, my my preference. Again, just a quick dice. Get that in there. Next is the cilantro. I've already washed this. I'm just gonna take a nice handful like that. A rough chop on this will do. into the bowl. Next I'm gonna do is um, add my avocados. I'm gonna get those set. So you just take your knife, go through it into the pit, come around like this, and a little twist. If you see, there's the pit, there's the other end. A good way to get the pit out, and I'll be careful, is just give it a little pit like that, and a twist, pit comes right off over there. So I'm going to do these with the rest. I'm 
Now people, some people may prefer like a, a chunkier avocado, uh, a chunkier guacamole. Um, I kind of like it in between. So I'm gonna take three of these avocados. I'm gonna add them right into the bowl, hole and mash them. This is just a little tomato or potato uh, masher, I guess. Again, a twist, 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 and twist. So I've heard um, some people from um, out west say that if you actually hold these avocado seeds and you put a couple of those avocado seeds in with the in with the guac, it keeps it from from turning brown. Wives tail possibly. Um, but I'll keep these off to the side. I'll throw a couple in there just for just for uh, aesthetics, I guess. So I got my my pits out. Now that the pits are out, like I said, I'm just gonna use a big old spoon. Just kind of kind of work your way in with against the skin, scoop, get all the avocado out of the shell, avocado pulp out of the shell, and so forth and so on. Uh, And I'm kind of using the more firm avocados um, as the as the texture, and the softer ones as kind of the as kind of the meat inside to kind of give it that nice smoothness. Okay, I'm down to two avocados now, and I'm just going to go like this with my knife, and I'm going to score it come across like this. This is gonna give us our nice chunks. And you just wanna go right to the skin. You don't wanna go through it. I'm just gonna do two, um, one whole avocado for it and use the rest as the base. Next, take my masher, mash this down. Again, using the spoon technique, come across. You notice, see how it's all broken up like that? It's giving me my chunks. Now I don't want to be mashing this anymore because I want to keep that texture in there. kosher salt. Two teaspoons. Next thing you want to do, just kind of mix it, just fold those, those chunkier pieces in. Looking good. Mix that salt throughout. Uh, some people will say tomato, non-tomato. I mean, it's all just based on preference. Looking good. Grab a bit of chip, check for salt. <clears throat> some people like to put hot sauce in here, maybe more pep, more more chili pepper. That looks pretty good to me. The acid, maybe a little more acid. I'm gonna work this lime a little bit more. Okay, 
pin and grab your serving vessel, I guess. Into here with it. fresh parsley or a little bit of fresh cilantro take the little end of that tomato gotta make it pretty you know a little sprinkle of the tomato diced tomato there you have it guacamole a la chef the prospecting. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.